it's Fox and welcome to me opening up more fake packs of cards yep this is by far my most viewed uh, type of video the most viewed video in my channel is me opening up fake packs and I get questions all the time uh, mainly questions that I restate in the video so if you're watching this I urge you to pay a fucking attention okay huh. anyway I went out to an 89 cent store near me and I picked up these fakes and before you say, oh, you're stupid for picking up fakes, there's a reason why I'm doing this. It's to inform all you people who are unable to tell the difference between real packs and fake packs just by looking at a tin. We will get started with the packs. Before we open them, we'll identify what's wrong with these packs. First of all, they are very fucking dark. And second of all, I bought them at a 99 cent store. Don't buy packs at a 99 cent store, if, or if you're from the UK, a pound land, or for, if you're from, I don't know, Boobibboo. Whatever the hell they have there, that's the equivalent. Yeah, 99 cent store or any store that sells really cheap shit, uh, don't, don't buy packs from there. Uh, that's just an obvious. Some stores, now I say some because I did find a store in Jersey called Dollar Tree that actually had real packs of certain cards. I didn't find Pokemon per se, but they, they had like bundles of little random Pokemon cards that were real. So that's why I say 85 to 90% of the time, they're fake. There is a slight chance they could be real, but for the most part, I wouldn't risk it. Just don't buy $90 packs or 50 cent packs. Just go to a card shop or go to a Target or Walmart or whatever the hell thing is near you and buy the real pack. Or if you want to go online, that's a little risky and hopefully these tips will help you, but you know, it's a little bit safer. So what's wrong with these packs? They're dark. The plastic feels very, very thick. It doesn't feel like a regular pack. There's probably a ton of misspellings here. Uh, this won't have a code card. At least I don't think it does. It feels cheap. This is crimped really cheaply. Uh, yeah, this is, this is, well, obviously it's fake because I bought it on a sense store and I'm telling you, but the real packs, they usually have a weird feeling to them where you, where you know they're real. Uh, and for most experienced players like myself and some friends, we kind of know the difference already, but there are people who do not. Fake packs, they're, the, to find a fake pack is the hardest because you're not going to be able to automatically tell it's fake because you you won't know enough to know that it's fake but again just the signs it's a 99 cent store or it's a or it's a pound land or it's a very cheap store uh they're just sitting in the front of the counter they don't feel they don't look like they they might be real or it's a flea market you know if they're like in a box they don't don't risk it go to a card shop or go to a target or you know go or if you're at a flea market go to a stand where they're selling trading cards specifically might they might be fake but for the most part they're probably representing some kind of store so they might be real too but yeah finding out that it's a fake from a pack is a bad idea because you're really not going to tell you there's little little missed things here like you see the lettering kind of goes over the pack everything is kind of scrunched up the plastic feels shitty everything is darker but that's not the best way to tell and this thing this is easy to tell these are always fake if you see these little tiny tins at a at a nine cent store Again, some kind of cheap store. These are always fake. I never seen Pokemon with the exception of the deck box tins, which I actually have one right here. I'll show you in a minute. And they're certainly not going to be doing this anymore for any kind of black and white or... Well, I can't say that for sure. They might, but as of right now, as of the filming of the video, they do not do these tins. They've done these tins. They've done these little deck box tins, but these are even big enough to where you can tell it's real. These... Ash looks fucked up, and I'm sorry I used the F word, but Ash looks weird. And what the hell is Pokemon 6? Uh, I, I don't know. I've, I actually did open this just so I can get some cards to compare, and this is the first thing we're going to be opening. The second, we'll open the packs just to see. But we're going to take a look. Now, you're going to be... Um, this kind of scared me because the, there was a promo at the bottom. This was covered in plastic. That kind of scared me how real it looked. Darkrai. This actually looks like a legitimately real Darkrai uh, at first glance. At second, you, the text is off. I actually looked around the card. I couldn't find any misspellings. Uh, not any major ones anyway. Um, it has the Dark Explorer logo. None of the cards in this tin else. They don't have that logo. Uh, but when you turn it around, it's way too dark to be a real card. And I can show you a real card right here, what it kind of looks like. Pokemon, the one thing they do right is they, they show you a difference between the, the back for the border and the actual face of the back card. 
uh, they do a good job of that. This blue is darker than everything else on the on the front, so you can see the border around it. Sometimes with fakes, they'll kind of blend into the back, especially on the top. Uh, the whole look at it through a light, if it's see-through, it's fake. That really doesn't apply. I have, I've seen real cards that are thin enough to where you can see light through them and they were real. Uh, for the most part, it's just the back is way too dark to be real, but the front looks very, very real. Now, I've stated in other videos what a, a proxy a proxy is a temp is a card that takes the place of a real card when you're trying to play test. So if I were to play a, a deck and I didn't have another dark ride, I would put this in as a proxy. It's fake, and I'm a, I'm I'm I'm, ah, I'm informing my opponent that it's fake. It is a proxy, a placeholder for a real card, for play testing or for some other reason. Okay. Other than that, fakes are pretty much useless. The only thing I see them being used for is proxies, and to rip people off. And ripping people off. You're kind of a scumbag if you're ripping off Pokemon cards, because, really, but whatever. Yeah, the Dark Ray looks real, honestly, and uh, I could, act, I might be able to trade this to somebody if I were a scumbag, but yeah. I also got some, I've gotten comments before saying, what is, what's the big deal if they're fake? They're pretty good. Well, first of all, if they catch you at a tournament with fake cards, you're out. You're just disqualified. Second of all, if you're playing against somebody with fake cards, they're going to out you to the tournament organizer, and if you're trying to trade fake cards, you're just a scumbag. That's, that's like with anything, though. So yeah, so let's take a look at these hilariously fake cards. First of all, why is Flaffy Hollow? I don't know. I don't know why this says Black White S. I don't know why this is green and this one's red. Oh, okay, maybe that's a common rarity. I think they do this in Japan. I think this is the Japanese rare, uh, set symbols in the bottom here. They put Black White and a number. So I think that's what Black White 6 means. I think it was a 6 set, but even that might be wrong. I don't know. Flaffy's Hollow. I don't know why. The back looks shitty. Blah. Shed Ninja. I actually have a real Shed Ninja, so I'll compare. Charon. I have a real Charon, so I'll compare. Sigalith. Oh, I thought that was like that was hair. Sigalith. Golurk. Dustox. I'm gonna show you guys if you see anything wrong with these cards. I haven't taken a massive great look into them, with the exception of these two over here. So you can just find some funny things if you want. For the most part, the cards feel somewhat real, but the text is way off. That's what fake cards. They never get the text right. Oh, look, a non-hollow Flaffy. I don't know why Flappy's hollow. <laughs> That's just weird to me. Lampant, Rag and Rolla, Chandelure. Also, notice this is not hollow, but for some reason the back looks like it's the hollow lines. Weird, right? Staryu, Mareep, Skiploom, Trubbish, Articuno, hollow. It's not hollow. Another thing, real Pokemon cards that are hollow, sometimes in fakes, they, they'll be non-hollow. Uh, that Articuno only comes hollow in reverse, as of right now. That uh, Chandelure right here only comes hollow reverse. You're not going to see them just regular rares. Well, I, uh, I don't know. Was the Chandelure in the deck? You get the point, though. Like, certain hollows, that are, they will never become non-hollow. They'll only be that in reverse. Garbodor, this only comes hollow in reverse, I think. I don't know theme decks. Oh, also, they say first edition on the bottom. Pokemon doesn't do that in America anymore. They don't have first editions in pack in uh, cards, ever. Uh, I have a real card right here. I have a, uh, you know, I'll do that in a while and I'll show you. But yeah, they don't have first edition anymore. They just canceled that completely. They'll have first printings, which are pre-releases, but they're not gonna have first edition on the card. Throw, Ugh, monkey. I'm just, I'm gonna. That's the one I'm gonna rip up. I'm gonna rip this one up just to show you. The Fisk. No light. These cards are actually very well done, I'm not going to lie, but they're still obviously fake to me. And I understand some people, they might look real. But after a while, you just kind of know. So yeah, all these are fake. All these are pretty much worthless in every way, shape, or form. This may be for proxy, like I said before. Certain cards you can use as a proxy, but everything else is... They're pretty much useless. Alright, so... I guess I can show you uh, the difference right now, and then I'll get to the packs, just for the hilarity of it all. So, let's look at a real Charon. That's a real Charon. And let's look at a fake Charon. That's not a Charon. Right here. Major differences right off the bat. First of all, I'll get a better look right here. The fake Charon, uh, is, for some reason, is darker. I guess uh, fake cards, when they're printed, they print them a little bit darker for some reason. It might be the ink, I don't know. Second of all, the wording, draw three cards from your deck. The real challenge is just draw three cards. There's no other place where you can draw three cards from except maybe your discard, but then it would be get three cards from your discard, not draw three cards. So having the deck there is pointless. 
The text on the top, it says trainers for some reason. It, normal is just trainer. Uh, do they misspell supporter? No, but they use a different typeface. Uh, the bottom, it said, the fake one says you can only use one supporter card during your turn. And the real one, it goes more into depth. So it says before you attack and all that fun stuff. Uh, the printed image, you probably can't see it, but it looks a little more shittier. Sorry for the cursing. Uh, the real card has a more crisper image. And of course, we got to go to the main thing, which I always talk about in my fake videos. The black line. This is the definitive way to find out the difference between a real and a fake card. Is the black line. Now, I'll rip up a fake one and I'll show you right now. I say before, because fuck monkeys. Again, excuse the language. Notice it's just plain white paper. Uh, I'm not going to lie, it's actually pretty good paper, but it's just plain white paper. Some of these are just the cardboardish, brownish, poop color paper. There's nothing else in the middle. All you see is the white paper. That's it. Now let's take a look at a side image of a real card. And before you kill me, I ripped up an energy. Now I know there's going to be people saying, Oh my god, I've had sex with energies. I, I love energies. Fuck you. I ripped up an energy. It's not a big deal. Okay, let's look. I did a little center cut right here. You can see the black paper in the middle. And I get a little one over here. You see this black line? This is a real card. If you look at the side of a card with a good eye, you're going to see a black piece of line. Or black piece of paper, sorry. Uh, this is the way I usually tell fakes uh, if I don't see it right off the bat. Some people, they'll say real cards are fake when they're not. Uh, always look at the center before you say that because I've seen people get turned down for sales and trades because they thought they were fake when they were real. Uh, this is the definitive way. Before you do anything, besides looking at a pack or besides looking at the card that it looks shitty, look down, don't rip it in half, look down the middle with a good eye if you have, or if you have a magnifying glass, go ahead and use that. Look for the black piece of paper. This is simple. I have 22 seconds left. Now I have 12 minutes left. Yay. Okay, so, yeah, that's the only way you're ever going to tell the real difference uh, is the black piece of paper. The fakes have never actually been able to put a, uh, any kind of black thing in the middle because that costs too much this took literally one fourth of a cent to make and they sell it for a slight up charge that's how they make money that's how everything works that's why fakes exist the money now custom cards i think i should mention this before i go to the packs and i stop explaining stuff there's a difference between fakes and custom cards custom cards are made by a uh, real by made uh, by fans who will make a card for somebody uh, they may sell it but it's not a card that they will ever say outright, this is legal to play in a tournament. This is a, they're they're going to make a card that says, this is just for fun. This is just for you to have. This is for you to show off, yada, yada. Like I've shown it in my videos before, I have a custom Scrap DEX from a friend of mine. It has my name on it. That's a custom card. It's not a fake card. It is technically a fake card, but it's a custom card made with care by a fan because they, they, love, the, uh, they love Pokemon. They love to make the, the card. Uh, fakes, they're literally just made to make a quick buck. Actually, literally, these cost 50 cents each. So I would say within a quarter of a cent to make each card, you make a little bit of a profit, but yeah. Uh, as I said before, they're not tournament legal. Never use fakes in a tournament, not even fake energies. Don't even use fake energies in a tournament because they'll probably kick you out just because you have a fake card in your deck. So let's get on with the packs. I'm going to stop informing you and let's just get on with the hilariousness that this is. Actually, you know what, though? I did want to say these tins are actually still pretty cool. I'm using this as a dice tin because, uh, you know what? While the cards are kind of shittily made, if shittily is a word, the tin is kind of neat. It's a nice little dice tin. And I've said that before. The tins are usually kind of cool. Yay. And I don't know why Genesect is on there because Genesect wasn't in Dragon's Exalted, but whatever. And it says Dragon's Exalted right there. Whatever. All right. So let's get on with the packs. So we pull. First of all, no code card, but we did get an upside down Yanma. That's a, with 7,000 HP. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? I know, sorry guys, I laugh weird. Uh, what? Okay, the Yanma has 7,000 HP. Sure, why not? Volaby with 6,000 HP, and he's hollow. Oh my god, that's funny. Okay, uh, this is Jaring's Exalted, this Volibee's from Dark Explorers. There's another tip that'll tip you off, saying, oh, it's upside down too, look at that. The Pokeball, I'm not even showing you guys, sorry. The Pokeball is upside down. <laughs> you guys are, whoever made this are stupid. 
Uh, metal energy. 5,000 HP rufflet, of course. 10,000 HP the barrel. 11,000 HP probo pass. 7 grand Durant, 9 grand Boldor, and 13 grand Dustox. What? Okay, so some of these weren't actually from Dragon or Dragons Exalted, and uh, the Volibi wasn't. I think the rest are, though, but... Wow, that was weird. Oh, look at the retreat cost. <laughs> the retreat cost. Yeah, that'll be played. Let's make fake cards with super high HP, but the retreat cost is, like, unimaginably high. <laughs> wow, okay. So that was funny. Uh, the energy is literally just an energy. This energy is... I don't... Don't even use... Like I've said, don't use fake energies. Oh, man, I'm excited to see what's in this pack. I really want to see what's in this pack now. Okay. Yeah, little things that you'll find on fake cards. They're just little weird things, like, you know, the... The grand HP. No Pokemon will ever have more than 200. I'm going to say 210 because currently Waylord has 200 HP. But you never know. They might make like 210 HP Waylord or some shit. No Pokemon is going to have more than 200 plus HP. It's going to be between. They're never going to have more than 300. Let me say that. 6,000 is absolutely ridiculous for a Volibee. Uh, I wish I was real. But no. Then everyone. Uh, even then. I don't think anyone will play it. It'd just be a tank. But let's get on to the next pack. Oh, look at that. We got a Terekion EX. <laughs> look at that. With 1,800 HP. I think I see what they did. They just put like an extra zero in certain cases. And in other cases, they put two extra zeros. So this might actually just be 60 HP. The ducks, the Dust Ox may have like 13, 130 HP. Sorry. We got a Terekion EX. Look at that. <clears throat> Legitimately, this looks real, but it's not hollow. Yeah, some EXs will come hollow. Some won't. The fake one, uh, real Pokemon, every EX is a hollow. That's just simple. Every EX is going to be hollow. In fakes, you're going to have non-hollow EXs, but whatever. And we got a hollow Bite Sharp, too. Look at that. With uh, I thought that was 100,000 HP. It's 10,000 HP by Sharp. Okay, that's upside down. A 40... Wait, isn't this Swablu supposed to be 60 HP? I don't remember. Oh, no, this is a bad one. Uh, 4,000 HP Swablu. They didn't even pack it right. Fucking hell. Oh, look at the retreat cost for the Terrakion. Oh my god, dude. 9,000 HP on Dino. Six, that, that's a tankish slack off. Damn. Roselia, Aeron, Skunk Tank, and Gigalith, which is actually supposed to be a hollow. But they managed to get the hollow thing out of it, so there's that. So yeah, guys, <clears throat> that was me opening some fake packs of cards. Before I end this video, I just gotta say... They might be funny as all hell, but fake cards are, uh, yeah, you don't want them. You don't want to have them. Definitely don't put them in your binder. As soon as, usually when I see fake cards in a binder, I just give the binder back. I don't even look at it. Uh, because it's just, it's just too telling. Like, I don't know. There might be some fakes out there that are, they look completely real. There might be some fakes that will fool judges. You, you never know, really. Uh, but for the most part, like, 99 cent store fakes, that's just the best way to tell. The black line, I'm pretty sure the fake will never have the black line in the middle. And if they do, I'll put up a, a retraction video telling you how to tell the difference. Uh, let's rip up this energy just so I can show that again. No black line. I did warn you guys I was going to rip up cards. Yeah, so there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this informed you. If you have any questions, usually with the fake pack videos, I like to answer questions. And I will answer any questions you have. Go ahead, leave them. Uh, and thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to go have fun with my, uh, that's my phone ringing, with my 18,000 HP Terrakion. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.